Wait for it. Wait for it. Red, green, red, green, green, red, double, double. What's up, everybody? How are you? That was my Guitar Hero face. I did it for you last week. I'll do it for you this week. Welcome. It's very exciting around here. It's Comedy.com's Best of the Web. It's our third show. We're getting our feet wet. And we're trying out a lot of different things. So we have a new format for you tonight. We appreciate all your feedback. We appreciate Jackie and Tumor and Bill, all the other people that are back with us and all the first-time guests. What we did for you this week for the new format, if you go to the laughtrack.com, which is one of our blogs, there's actually a post with links to all the stuff we're going to be talking about. So if you want to check out that now, it's the first post. It says the live stream rundown. Go to the laugh track, and you can click on the links and actually watch some of the stuff that we're going to be talking about here in a couple of minutes. With that in mind... The new format, we have three special guests for you. The first one is John W. Westlink. He runs our sports blog, and he also runs our TV blog. The sports blog is jockandballs.com, one of the best domain names out there. TVmunchies.com, when you're high and you need a little television. We have Erica Brooks Attickman. She runs our music blog, funkjelly.com. Also started My Parents Just Joined Facebook.com, and she's going to be talking about that a little bit later on. And rounding it out, you know him, you love him, Mike the Listmaster Brido Bridenstine, who got dressed up for everybody out hey, there. Everybody. That is the Old Navy pick of the week, and you can go <laughs> uh, get that for about $6. $6? $6? $6.50. $6.50. He dressed up. They all dressed up. So we're going to do this every week, actually. It's going to be a new format. We're going to bring in three great minds. A lot of them run our blogs. A lot of them are going to be comedians, writers, people around the Internet. And they're going to give you their take on everything that's going on. So with that in mind, we also have Bill the Dope Man Doty there on the instant message. He's going to be giving you clues on the Brido pockets. He's also going to be interacting with you. So let him know anything that you guys want us to discuss. Right now, in the uh, they're talking about gremlins for some reason, and I missed it. Everybody's saying don't feed it after midnight. And I, I guess I got in there late. But... Uh Gremlins seem to be the top. Thing I love Gremlins right now. So um, who who played the dad, the country singer that played the dad in Gremlins? Uh, it was uh, like Wait, Atkins, something like that. Anybody? Like, yeah, Bert, something Bert. Bert? Yeah, the Bert? bad inventor one. Anybody got that? Anybody in the uh, know what the name of the Hoyt Hoyt At Atkins? Hoyt Atkins. That was Hoyt by Atkins. Boozle three sixteen. Thank you for thank doing you, that. bamboozled. Hey, you know what? You should get a sticker. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot my stickers. Oh, well, we I have these awesome yeah, have stickers. Ask Me How Gay You Are stickers. We'll be sending those out. Oh, there goes Chloe O'Brien from CTU. She saw a um, she saw an alien, a UFO, literally down Wilshire last week. We drew a picture. If you go into the archives, you check out our second episode from last week. She was serious. So that's Chloe O'Brien. We got Hogan Knows Best. Uh, Brian, can we get a shot of the studio? I like I like doing uh, doing the big shot, showing people what they're what they're seeing. Uh, sure, hold on. I just it's that shot of the studio is just my camera from my vantage point. Oh, that's all right. Of, I ruined Christmas. Just, okay. Look at that, folks. Let's so this go. is where we are. That's my bald. Look at that. Oh my God, I'm that bald? Seriously? Uh, Brian to Hogan, shop, stop shanking no. your rump, please. Distracting. <laughs> bald Hogan. Is that really like a monkey's at? What is that? Look at that thing. Wait. That is awful. No, what are you doing? <laughs> Get out of Get it. It's it. awful. Get in there. Oh, no. You wanted it. You wanted that shot. Oh. Gotta Let's go to people yamaka. with more hair right now. Let's talk. <laughs> Built-in <yamaka. laughs> All right, so we're going to go to people with more hair over there on our panel. We're going to go check out John W. Wesling. John, what's going on over there, my friend? I'm doing good, buddy. Doing good. Of course, good. I, I shouldn't be talking about the hair. I'm wearing a hat, so here I have to prove that I'm not bald. Luxurious. The, it is not very luxurious. I don't know what something could have popped out of there. But I'm doing good, buddy. Uh, nice, nice. Thanks for having nice. me here on the, uh, the illustrious show. Yeah. Hi, Internet. Good to see you. John, uh, we've known each other for a long time. We, uh, since John was a comedian a long time ago when I was at the Improv, I saw him, and uh, he had one of my favorite jokes. What's, what's the joke about your, it's your uncle, he, how he likes his women? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's my dad. I wish I was an uncle. I uh, thought he was my uncle until I was about 10. But uh, my, dad's, uh, my dad did a toast at my wedding. He was, uh, uh, I like my women like I like my scotch. 12 years old and mixed up with coke. <laughs> true story, guys. That's yeah. uh, Right? That was true story. Well, well, actual no, footage. Let's not get into it. Uh, but John runs our sports blog again, and you can actually see a link to the top of the list you did. I'm going to check out my computer over here. John, it was the top 10 things better than college basketball. We have March Madness starting this weekend. We have Selection Sunday on Sunday. So John did a list, and tell the people, uh, my favorite... Uh, is big old jiggly titties. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to argue about the fact that big old jiggly titties are, in fact, better than college basketball. I would have taken uh, regular titties. You know, that could have, you know, but in number 10, though, you know, big old jiggly titties is a, a hot <laughs> uh, bullet point. That is uh, true. Ribs came in at number nine. 
Uh, cold beer at number eight. If you want to see the rest of the list, go ahead and click on the link at laughtrack.com. That was great promotion. Was great, thank, thank, you you, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Mike and Erica, what about uh, what's better? What's better than college basketball to you? Erica, are you a big fan of uh, college basketball? Well, of all the sports out there, <laughs> basketball is my favorite because I understand it. But uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm anywhere near any kind of fan I didn't I always forget I for I will say this for years I thought that March Madness was about professional was about the NBA it took me years <laughs> took me years and my first college boyfriend to realize that that was not that March Madness was about uh, college basketball what's better than it boy I don't, where do you want me to start <laughs> Probably anything, huh? Well, I'm actually I'm kind of surprised. So you you like college basketball because you understand it. I'm an avid sports fan, oh. and to me, I don't get basketball. I can't tell the difference between good basketball and bad basketball. You know, it's just dudes running. Well, no, I mean I can feign interest in it. Like I uh, can't I can't even pretend to like football. I tried. I've tried pretending to be interested. No, it's terrible. It's terrible. I'm like the world's well, worst person, but I don't get it. Erica, what are you drinking over there? That looks delicious. It's Evo. Rhymes with Devo, like the band. It's positive energy. And it looks awesome. I believe they might even be a sponsor, Brian. I'm not I'm sure. On. But yeah, that, that, hey, that, let's talk about let's talk about I think number four. This video is very disturbing. I don't think I actually have it on the links, but you can check it out if you go to jockandballs.com. It's Cole the Rapper and his first music video called I Eat Shit. And I'm gonna quote, I'm gonna do a couple quotes. Uh, Erica actually and John both put this on there. Uh, he looks like an Andy Milanakis wannabe. Um, Gonna be, I think. This kid's got Dicks and got dogs it. and shitting and bitch. And then ass again, pancakes, eating, masturbating, ass, Jew, fuck, cattle, peace. Before the That's show, by the way, Matt Coleman asked us to not swear very much. That was a quote. I'm <laughs> quoting. I'm quoting. So that's a video. I don't even know if I would check it out, to be honest with you. It's quite disturbing. Uh, but check out that list. And then Erica Brooks Attickman. She runs My Parents Just Joined Facebook. My and Parents Joined Facebook. Yeah, that's. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that here uh, in a little bit. And she also runs a music blog, Funkjelly. Dot com. I saw one of the posts you did was from uh, my, one of my one of my favorite movies of all time. What was it again? <laughs> <laughs> I that was a cue. That was a segue. I think you're talking about uh, a clip from a little movie called Can't Buy Me Love. Uh, the white dress? The <laughs> leather white dress? Yes, the leather white dress with wine. When you get red wine, a, a white leather dress. Uh, romantic comedy ensues. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's how it goes in the 80s. Didn't they call it the Ronnie Miller dance? Uh, it was the African anteater ritual that uh, Ronald Miller performs because his brother... If you haven't seen this movie, you haven't seen it in a long time. His little brother puts on like PBS or something, and instead of watching the latest dance moves, he thinks that this is what the kids are doing these days. It's it's great. It's uh it's definitely one of those things that if a guy doesn't know this dance or the reference, I think it's like a deal breaker for me. I think we should bring it back into. Uh, I think so. I mean, like the Macarena. Let's bring that back in the Macarena. I don't know. Mm, maybe Sweet. the dip. Maybe not the Macarena. Maybe the dip. I don't even know what that one is. Can you, can you show dip, the people you what dip, the dip is? Dip. Pardon me? Can you show everybody what the dip is? Well, not, I, the, the directions are in the song. It goes, um, I put my hand up on my hip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Sounds, sounds pretty self-explanatory. 1996, there you go. Who doesn't love 96? Mike <laughs> Brido, Bridenstein, I hey, saw buddy. a little video about Nancy Pelosi taking off her clothes with yeah. Brad Pitt. And that I was liked on, it. Yeah, that was on Jimmy Kimmel. And what happened was... He green screened it. He, uh, Brad Pitt came to the or uh, to Washington to talk about New Orleans. Nancy Pelosi starstruck. They made a little version of it where Nancy Pelosi completely takes all of her clothes off. It's worth watching. I liked it. And uh, what what up, Victoria Jackson? You know her from Saturday Night Live. People, she went a little crazy on Hannity and Combs and Combs and Hannity and Hannity Combs. I don't even uh, I don't even know what that show. You definitely don't, because Combs is gone. Oh, Combs left. <laughs> Combs, <laughs> Combs right. no more Combs. But you got to check out this video. Victoria Jackson is on something, and she's talking about Mike. What was she talking about? She wants Rush Limbaugh to be the president of the United States, and she's I can't tell if she's serious. First of all. She's become Borat, everybody. So uh, <laughs> the title of my post is, When Did Victoria Jackson Become Borat? And, yeah, she's, she's lost her mind. Well, check out those couple out videos. Video. Enjoy those. Dope Man, what's going over there on the ones and twos? Uh, right now it looks like that uh, Erica's going to get in, getting some traffic because she's uh, hot. <laughs> Damn, what and, up, E? Uh, uh, PSI said, uh, in fact, uh, I would dip her. 
<laughs> and earlier, hold on, what was the other one that was made? I'm going to find this one. Oh, I think it's just that he's going to visit the site because you're hot. Well, the stream.tv is also a singles dating site, I think. And I, I noticed that single. Brido Fan is gone. There was a Brido Fan. There's only one, guys. They're all Erica fans. And John, sorry. Yeah, you gotta yeah, that's get, you're going to go have to hit the street for some traffic. Erica, so, are you uh, taken? Are you taken? Yes. <laughs> you have any uh, info for our... Uh, in, in pro, like, am I am I about single? You. You know, Who do you digits? belong to? Yeah. No, I'm I'm married to my work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like the like my my goals this year like I I want to get a dog. I'm I'm interested in adopting a dog. That's about it for commitment. You, you, <laughs> for you could take year. care of that in a day. Then what? You can adopt a dog in a day, and then you have a, the whole rest of the year. No, I mean like everyone just keeps telling me that like like you don't understand the kind of like commitment. I'm like no, I just want like a very like. Like um, uh, emotionally needy, but physically not needy, dog. Like it doesn't need to be walked a lot, but it, but it like needs a lot of love. You know what I'm talking about? Those but no, so, uh, so I didn't answer your question. No, I'm single. Uh, well, <laughs> holla, holla. that's a <laughs> long answer to get back to single. One of our uh, watchers, Oreo, is single too. Hey, Oreo. And PSI said woof woof. I think it's the dog reference. Oh, okay. You're looking for a dog, I think PSI is right there. Dog girl. <laughs> Let's are talk you, about what's on your mind. Is he mind. physically needy? <laughs> is Wolf Wolf physically needy or emotionally needy? I think that's both. I think it's just like wants to be disciplined like a dog. I think. I got it. I think that's another chat room uh, on a different internet. website. Oh, internet. man, what's on your mind today? What's on my mind? What's on your mind today? Um. Oh wait, do we have a do we have a little what's on your mind? I think we do. Uh, do you want to do what's in Brado's pocket? Yes, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> God bless Final Cut Pro. What's up, huh? What in is there. in Brido's pocket? Right All right, well, uh, let's get to the first clues that we have right now of what's in Brido's pocket. I'm only going to do two this time because we burned through it last time. Uh, first clue that I gave uh, earlier, if you watched the show, the little pre-show thing. Um, but now, of course, we're doing this live, and it's the, what is it in the 12th? Yes. Mm -hmm. 625. I got that right this time. Uh, the first clue is it's a color of fruit, and the second clue is, this is deep, you ready? <laughs> When you're in a dark place, it brings you relief. All right, that's it. Oh, that's a uh, good clue. That is a good clue. You like that one? Yeah, yeah I wrote that later. Uh, it's a color of fruit, and when you're in a dark place, it gives you relief, and it's in his pocket. And uh, give me some guesses. And uh, so far, we already have uh, an orange uh, an orange drink powder. Everybody seems to think it's orange. An or Veg says an orange condom. Tumor says, uh, Tumor 20 says an orange drink powder. Um, and Cup Check says orange flavored Alka Seltzer. No, it, it's none of those. Bill and I are the only people that know what it is, actually. And so, uh, no, I don't, Matt guess? doesn't know, and Erica and John don't know. Boom Dino wants to know is Erica in Brido's pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means, Boom Dino. All right. Boom and uh, lastly, uh, Woozle316 says a blue flashlight. I just want to say that I think Cup Check uh, has the best, the best handle, as they say in the business. And yeah. that business is. I don't know. Truck driver. Hogan, quit looking at me. <laughs> uh, let's go to the panel over here, folks. What's on your minds over there? John Westling, what might it be? What is bothering you? What is what, what do you hate? What do you like? I hate when a segment gets introduced and we don't use our cool little thing to intro it. Do we have Brian, do we have yeah. a what's on our mind? Scared <laughs> me. Look, I'm new to this. It's our third show. We're gonna work it out. We're gonna work it out. We can work it out. Never gonna give. Never gonna give. Anyway, John Wesley, what's on your mind? What's going on out there in the world? <laughs> well, honestly, it's the uh, price of Pampers. I'm pissed off about diapers. I'm a father, and uh, I used to be cool. And now I'm over 30, and I have a kid, <laughs> and I'm on the slow road to suicide. <laughs> Back to you at the desk. <laughs> the future is grim. Thank you for that inspiration, John. I'm um, getting married, and it just sounds like it's pure bliss. That's from, why you don't ask here on that. me what's on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you, have a, you have a more fun answer if you ask, what's on your screen? Because those are fun. That's like naughty naked pictures, sports scores. What's on my mind is a dark place. <laughs> let's, so, let's go to Erica Brooks Attickman. Erica, what's on you. your mind? What's on my mind? What's on your um, mind? I uh, I went and saw Watchmen this weekend, and I went with my whole family. That that was a terrible that was a terrible idea uh, to go to a matinee screening in uh, in Florida with my mom, my dad, my 18 year old brother, and my sister, my younger sister. Uh, I had no, well, first of all, let me say that like uh, 
My sister walked out of the movie and thought that the comedian was played by Robert Downey Jr., which is why she thought it would be like Iron Man, like an uplifting movie. Uh, she also thought that Rorschach was played by Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> I swear I'm not making this up. And then my dad, who never curses, walked out uh, and was like, Stu- stupidest fucking movie, like who had cursed. And uh, my mother was very uncomfortable during a lot of it. And a lot of, I did not realize there's gonna be a lot of blue flaccid penis. I mean, oh, wait, oh that's just, right. I was gonna and ask there's, if like, there was a long, movie. slow, awkward sex scene. Like it was just, it was a lot. Of, it was the Brooks Addison family had a very awkward afternoon last Saturday, and I feel like it's like I'm, I'm still, I'm still like uh, uh, haunted. Was it was it more Billy Crudup's penis or because they show a lot of Billy Crudup's penis, right? Well, there's there's still like a lot. I mean, look, I I know that there's I know that apparently the the comic, the graphic novel, which is it, a comic or graphic? It's a graphic graphic novel. Graphic Graphic novel. It's supposed to be great. Like I get it. Um, I would say my only moments of enjoyment in that movie were. Nina's ninety nine red balloons. Nina, oh, I love Nina. that movie. Yeah, Song. that was that was it. That was, after that, it was just like it was it was it was just awkward times. A lot of our uh, <laughs> viewers admit that there's a lot of uh, way too much blue wang. Yeah, no, there is. I think he's Robert think H he's says too much Jewish, blue wang, and then too. a lot of people are saying uh, blue tea bag and things like that. But it all has to do with blue, the blue Johnsons. There, I was just too I was much surprised. blue Johnson. Yeah. It too much blue wang. Was, was, it, was it like bulge or actually I didn't see it? it she said flaccid. Just, she it said was flaccid. just there. Like you see head or just neck? All of it. Everything. Under? Sitting there in the dark with your parents. Nuts? Nuts? Were they nuts? It was everything. Hogan is nodding. He has nuts. Everything. <laughs> Hogan, you saw it? <laughs> Hogan's nodding. Hogan saw it? Hogan, that's a big smile. Hogan liked it. Hogan, Hogan how would you nuts. rate his balls from one to ten? You can't four, rate it's a four. His balls. He they, had four. Hogan just rated it a four. One to three. You can only rate balls one to three. It's not like there is a ten for balls. I think someone's been telling you that because you have. Do you a really think balls. that you can rate balls ten? <laughs> like, are there are there that beautiful balls out there? They'd be like, oh, that, those balls are a ten. Did somebody rate your balls a three and then you started crying and, and, they, and then they're like, no, it only goes to three. I don't show people my balls. <laughs> Man, I think your that's balls nuts. are that's a ten. That's, that's like when you get married. Go nine. I wait for show balls till till you get married. <laughs> so and I think you should too. Because that'd be a deal breaker. <laughs> Mike Bride Bridenstein. What's a? Hey. Gramo. He's going oh, for the belly and the hair. Cam. What's going ball on? Cam. Oh, I look for I your nuts, man. Uncool, Gramo. <laughs> Uncool. I'm going on a diet Monday. All right. And the hair, I can do nothing about. In my defense, I was going for your balls though. Oh, okay. My, well, ball, my balls are a ten. You got a you got a two now. On my ball. Anyway, Brido, what's going on? What's on your mind? I have a couple things. One, I'm self conscious about my ears now because yesterday I shot a commercial. Don't want to brag. Carfax, fine. Oh my God, Mike shot a commercial and he's telling people about it. <coughs> That's weird. <laughs> and I had to wear ear makeup. What? what? They mostly put the makeup on my ears. Come on. I swear to God. So I have uh, non photogenic anything, and especially not ears. And also, number two, went to lunch today and. A guy I work with, David, wanted to know how long he thought that I could do the Cabbage Patch dance in a row. He asked me if I thought I could make it 15 hours doing that. I don't think I can. So what I want to do is see if any of the, the viewers can do it for as long as they can and report back how they're doing. I want to he see had offered us $15,000. We do not have that We have money. stickers, dude. That's Wait, worth You think that's really worth, somebody's uh, going to do the Cabbage Patch for like <laughs> three hours for a Ask Me How Gay You Are sticker? I think you should. I think they should. I think you should. What's on my mind, folks? I think a lot of people are going to be freaking out about this Facebook redesign, which I just saw came through the pipe. And uh, it's um, it's very Twitter-like. And Erica Addickman, Addickman. <laughs> First day of school all over again. Damn it. I'm First sorry, Erica. I'm trying. <laughs> I, it's because I'm concentrating on it so much. Yeah. Anyway, she's going to talk about my parents. But I, I don't know how this uh, Facebook thing is going to go. But I do know that we should have a list debate of the week. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense right there. Smooth, Brian, like you know that. we have to do it one more time, right? <laughs> it doesn't get old. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Never. Never gets old. Never. <laughs> that time, the, correct, correct. Yeah, that time it did. Right at the end there. Today we are talking about 10 things to watch other than American Idol. Ever since Norman Gentle left the show, people don't even know who he is, and he was the best part. Ever since he left the show... It's, it's gone. It's gone downhill a little bit. The Michael Jackson songs. Brida was asking me about them the other night. 
Not so sweet. Not so sweet. So we're going to talk about the 10 things. John, what was what was number? Can you give away number one? Do you remember? Oh, crap, I, I don't remember number one. You got the computer there. John, there is me. a heavy, 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 heavy set woman here in this picture. Like heavy set. That's just a picture of John. That's, that's me with a wig on, buddy. You can catch that anytime at johnwesling.com. <laughs> <laughs> Send me nasty foot pictures. I like men with sandals. <laughs> Wait, John, don't you have a website about men with sandals? Say what now? Don't you have a website about uh, people in sandals? Oh, yeah, Funktoe. Funktoe.net. <laughs> true story. This is true story. Funktoe.net uh, slash Bill Doty. <laughs> that's I'm not... creeped out. Yeah. The internet moves fast, people. Speed of light. I thought you were. Were they just joking before? I thought you actually had a, a website that was just. T t oh, I made that up. I made that sandals. up. That's, By the time this show is fault. over, it'll be up. Yeah. What do I know? Taken. Yeah, that exactly. Will be taken. What do I know? Yeah. So what's so, everybody else watching there? Dodie, what's, what's everybody's favorite TV show out there? Let's talk to the people. Uh, I don't know because we didn't ask them, but now we're going to ask, hey, what's everybody's favorite TV show? Let us know right now and we'll know. But why? I got to say real quick about the reference to the sandal so everybody knows and it was what was on my mind. I take really retarded pictures throughout the day on my Blackberry and I post them to Flickr. And today I wore sandals because it's a sandal day. It was really pretty out. I sent the picture and put it up on Facebook of just, I'm sorry, a Flickr of my sandals. And uh, somebody favorited the video or the picture. And now it has a lot of hits on it. And I looked and it was a, uh, the guy's Flickr page. He has hundreds of pictures of men in sandals. So I'm really creeped out. That's hot. I'm really creeped out. So I think I'm going to take it down. But, Bill, you're wearing sandals right now. I am, right now. I mean, I'll admit, that's pretty hot right there. And uh, <laughs> somebody just screen captured that, probably. I think I heard something tear when you did that. Yeah. <laughs> this so is anyways, not that type uh, of show. That was my gripe. That's disgusting. All right, go. Next. You know what? I think, we're, I think it's time to segue into new favorite sites of the week. <laughs> do we have to pay this guy a residual every time we do this? Love the Halloween coming in at it. The new favorite site. We have some really great sites this week. Erica, since we've been teasing it so much, talk to the people. There's there's big developments, and my parents just joined Facebook today. Are there not? Oh, well, yeah. Um, so the, here's the backstory on my parents joined Facebook. It's my parents joined Facebook, not mine, because I won't let them. But if people send us, uh, my my partner, Gene, and I, uh, who run the site, um, like screen grabs of stuff their parents do on Facebook, and then we do a little caption of it. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but uh, everyone's parent joined Facebook, or she's joining tomorrow, and it's Oprah. Oprah's Facebook! on Facebook. Liz so, uh, if you, so I don't know. I don't know. I think that uh, our latest post kind of killed uh, my chances of ever getting. Uh, asked to go to the Harpo studio. Oh, that would be, be awesome. Oprah, right? That would be so cool. Well, what are you going to do? With, I mean, Oprah's on Facebook. Like, I mean, I feel like, does that mean, like, is that is that like the jumping of the shark? Like, Oprah's on Facebook? Is that the new jump of the shark? Absolutely. Is that officially? Actually, you know what? Like, Probably. Although, it depends on what her updates are. If she's giving away smoked turkey or if she's giving away gifts. Hogan said before the show. She's giving away little right, uh, instead of Instead of giving, like, the little electronic gift, she'll give you, like, an actual... <laughs> you know, public gift. It'll just show up like at your house. See, that's probably what she's doing because now she's just going to give away fake gifts. She's going to eat you with the zombie and give you give you. I just want to tag her in a bunch of pictures she's not in. Can I do that? That's a great idea. Eric, wait. Where can people email you uh, their screen grabs of their? Oh, okay. Parents so stuff? if you go to my parents join Facebook dot com, the link is on on the post that we set up. Yeah, uh, you or you can just email at my parents join Facebook at gmail dot com, and uh, send us yourself. We'll make it anonymous. Uh, respect, uh, you know, your parents' embarrassing parents too, but uh, you know, they're still your family, and that's it. And we'll uh, share your your woe, your wall posts of woe. <laughs> it's scary times, people. It's scary yeah, times. Yeah, what time we live in? What a time we live in. All right, we asked uh, these people to give it to us, and they did. So I'm going to say some of the shows that everybody's giving me. Okay. NCSI is uh, listed quite a bit, but the number one it looks like is House MD. That's what everybody's going nuts for. Like Aliens people 300 love has said that. Uh, like, like, uh, cup check, NCIS. I think I said CSI. So NCIS has been around for like 10 years. It's crazy. It was an no, offshoot of... Uh... CSI is the one that's been around forever, right? Right, but NCIS is, was like a spinoff of JAG, I think. Uh, Robert was, says... Uh, uh, Pensacola Wings of Gold, I believe. Was Terminator. <laughs> And uh, still on? somebody said myth, but Veg says Mythbusters. That's yeah, I, heard I that love is cool. that show. We should try some of the myth busting uh, on this on this very show. 
We have another hilarious side I just found out about today, and I'm glad you're going to find out about it right now. John Westling, the name itself is funny. What is that name? Oh, my site? The one I like Yeah, so your much? site. I tell you, it's a guilty pleasure, and I know I'm half retarded, but cats that look like Hitler.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, and some of you internet junkies have probably found that about three or four years ago. So you're like, whatever, noob, or whatever. But woot this, sons of bitches. It's a damn good site. Go to cats that look like Hitler. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a lot of uh, white cats that people sharpie their face. But that is <laughs> that really doesn't you know diminish any of the funny for me. I would actually like to see some of that behind the scenes sharpieing your cat to look like Hitler. But it's awesome. Go check it out. Hitler is hilarious, by the way. I, uh, he, is, he is so funny, that guy. Mike. Hitler's the new Dane Cook. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> people actually think Dane Cook is Hitler. Yeah. Yeah, no. He was he was so good back in the day, Hitler. Well, the marching back and forth so on funny. stage, it's very similar. That march killed me every single time. It's cool, I'm Jewish. <laughs> no. I mean, seriously, I'm Jewish. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, Mike, yeah. Mike yes. Bride O'Brienstein, your new favorite site, also hilarious. Everything is terrible. Everything is terrible. Tell Dot, us a little bit about it. It's a site where the slogan is, if everything is terrible, nothing is. And so they just post uh, it's a lot of videos of stuff that should be terrible. And strangely enough, isn't. So check that one out. Everything is terrible. Blogspot.com. That's true. The link is also up on the laugh track. Again, the laugh track in the first post got a lot of the links. Bill the Dope Man Doty included in that is your new favorite site. And that is called? Dribbleglass.com. And I know it's a site that's been around for a while. Uh, but and actually, it's a friend's website uh, that I've known for a while too. But the reason I like this site is it's got tons and tons and tons of funny stuff. And the number one thing that you'll remember if you go to it is his billboards. He has the very very funny billboards which people swipe all the time and put on their websites. So go to dribbledglass.com and you'll be entertained for hours. And I did not get paid for saying that. Back to you, Coman. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Here at the, so my new favorite site, this is awesome. Erica actually tipped me off to it. She posted it, and this, this site is good. It's, the link is on that first post on the lap track, but in case you want to go to it right now, it's ronwinter.tv slash drums dot html. ronwinter.tv slash drums dot html. It's actually a keyboard synthesizer. I'm going to move the mic over here, and I'm going to spell uh, some names. So uh, check this out right here, right here. Tell me if you can hear it. You like that? That's my name. That was my name right there. Ask, uh, get uh, get a couple of choices out there. Give me uh, like a phrase or a word from the people. What do you what do you want me to to say? And we'll we'll do. It. Here's Bill Doty. You can do that all day at work. It is. I so like much that. Fun. All right. Um, what do they want to hear? Uh, so far, nothing. What would you guys like to uh, hear? Anybody? Here's the stream. A name. Um, Veg gave the. There's the URL. Uh, what's that say? Uh, Two percent twenty says fake tastic. I think that's a typo. Do fake tastic. That sounds great. Oh. Fantastic. All right, enough of that. Anyway, check a it out. A lot of Blue Wang. Oh, Blue Wang. Blue Wang. Blue Wang. That no. was, uh, that was Blue Wang. Orange, you scared. I like that one. Yeah. Oreo says Blue Want. I think that was Blue Wang. And then Thunder Twat. <laughs> that was Thunder Twat. Red, ne red Neck. In Joe the Bizier out in Denver. Thunder Twat. I know you and I love you. Give a shout out to Luke and the kids for me. <laughs> Becky, huh? That's uh, Thunder Twat. That's my brother in law. Oh, nice. That's anyway, good. I just gave away. Is that bad? Now everybody Little knows. Bit. Well, Jester, Jester Jest or Jokey Jest, I got. I want to come back again. Buddy of mine, old improv buddy, he's on there. I got to yeah, say. Yeah, shout, hey, shout out. Hey, Dave. Hey, Davey. Thanks for watching, man. Check that out. Check all those sites out. They're really funny. We're going to be back doing that every week. Panel, what's going on over there? Oh, hey, I thought of another one. Okay. Uh, it's viceland.com. That sounds dirty. It's uh, Vice Magazine, and you have to go check out their do's and don'ts. That will eat up hours of your life. Do the do's and don'ts, the best captions on the internet, uh, viceland.com. It's very good. Seriously, it's funny. Wait, so what that the site is, what do they have on there? It's uh, like do's and don'ts. It's like these uh, New York, Manhattan kind of uh, fashion hipster snobs making fun of everybody, what they're wearing. And it is awesome. Very, very funny. Cracks me up. Trying to go there now. Shot uh, by Kern. Dead air brought to you by John Wessling there. Dead air. Now, that was my fault. <laughs> party, my bad. party foul. What's my up? My bad. God, let's talk about the idiots on the web. Let's, uh, let's talk about the biggest idiot of the week. Roll it. The biggest idiot <laughs> of the week. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't have that. I'm really? sorry. Ah, uh, is Matt uh, Coleman. I don't think we have it. <laughs> no, it's, no, I like this one. That's a great one. There it is. The biggest idiot of the week. I see it on the monitor. 
I, uh, what? Um, Whoa! Oh. Burn! Whoa. Oh. Uh, oh, nice. Have, he actually made cool, dude. I have it, hold on, I have it on the laptop. I just didn't have it in the right You know what, bro? It's not you. It's me. <laughs> yeah, it's not you, domestic. it's me. It's my this fault. This is awesome. I don't even think we prepared for this. Dodie, that was uncool, man. Uncool. Idiot of the week. Apparently, I am a little bit of an idiot. It was a tough day. It was a tough day for me. It was a tough day for everybody out there. Panel, John, Erica, Mike Brido, who's the biggest idiot of the week? Out of the three of us? Or just... <laughs> I'm sorry. No, who's your biggest idiot of the week? I was volunteering to be the dumbest. <laughs> who is the biggest I'm going to pick uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Picking uh, Joaquin. Oh yeah, this video Good is answer. crazy. Good There's a video of him online. He's at a rap concert, his new like uh, fake rap career, and apparently somebody in the front row is uh, fake heckling him, and he dives into the crowd, Axl Rose style, to fight the guy. It doesn't even look close to real. It's never going to look real. So that's my pick, Joaquin Phoenix, idiot of the week. Dodie, that's on Hollywood Fail, is it not? That is on HollywoodFail.com. If you go there, you can watch the video in its entirety with some little funny comments. I said, that's it. Check it out, check it out. TMZ headline, this just in, reality doc sued over alleged botched vagina. Oh, you know what's better than that? This is, this is one of my favorite titles. This is from John. This is an actual title from one of his posts. Ironically, the L world, the, ah. damn it. Is botched John, vagina John, your brother-in-law also? John, Ironically, the L word finale sucked the big one. <laughs> it did. It did. It was horrible. Uh, well, I mean, this whole <laughs> other season, I can't. I'm sorry. This is, I'm going to end up going on like a, a detour that will take us four hours. We yes. can talk about this. Yep. I, and you know what? As a, <sighs> as a straight man who watches the L word, once again, I have been sexually frustrated and let down by lesbians. Because it sounds like a great idea, but it is like watching a soap opera with ugly chicks making out. And it really gives me the creeps. Let, let's just, if you haven't seen the finale, um, obviously the whole season was, was based around the fact that Jenny Schechter, the lead character, mm. the whole reason for the L Word's existence, uh, which Jewish. was interesting in like, like seasons one and two, are awesome. Netflix them. There's definitely yeah. some very attractive women oh, some. doing there's some very some. attractive making out in there's those some. scenes. But I have to say, this whole season was about who killed Jenny Schechter. And spoiler alert, uh, she died. Whoa, 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 you gotta warn everybody because people are already popping up. Saying okay, I won't no say. Spoilers. I won't say. I won't say who. Ki I won't say hey, who no, killed her. I'm not gonna say it. No, the whole episode, the whole season, starts out with you know that Jenny's dead, and in, in the last okay. season you're building right. up to how did she die? Mm -hmm. it so was it's not a so spoiler. That's not Jenny unsatisfying. Schechter, Jewish, but <laughs> Jewish lesbian. Schechter. The, the spoiler Schechter? there is they didn't. They, there was no payoff. John, be, no, careful. No payoff. be careful. Be oh, careful, John. Spoilers, everybody. The whole everybody. thing was built to, to tell you who who the killer was at the end, and then there was no payoff of who the killer was at the end. Instead, it was a cheap ploy to drive hits to the website. I would say, though, that We've the, never done that before. Never. The, the That's worst, horrible. The worst... LaughTrack.com. Uh, the worst thing, though, was the last, like, the, would you agree, the last 30 seconds of this, the last 30 seconds yeah. of the show, where they just walked into in a, oh, re, yeah. a remix of the of the theme song, they just walked slow motion towards the camera yeah, in this very retarded. awkward, I don't understand, I didn't understand what was going I on, know. I was so confused, there's just slow motion, like, walking, hair swept, I was, oh. just, I had no idea what was going on, I was just scratching my head, I I no idea. I thought it was a joke, it was worse no. than The Sopranos fan. It wasn't a joke. Right. I, like, I don't think I've ever heard of that show. The yeah. L word? Yeah. The L word? It's on Showtime. Seasons one and two are, and it's are about delightful. Lesbians. <laughs> delightful. <laughs> <laughs> of course no, you've heard of it. Were, these guys were freaking out with the spoiler alert. I have a. Uh, what's the new etiquette ruling in the DVR age on spoiler alerting? Because if, I did it how, the other how long night. after the original air date do you still have to hold on to the, oh, I haven't right. seen it yet? Or like, on 24 demand. hours. Yeah. Right. 24 hours. I was so distraught the other night of something that happened in 24 that I actually posted it on my Facebook, and I got a lot of shit for it, and rightfully yeah, so. Yeah, you don't do that. Well, I was really upset what happened on 24, because when, you know what I'm saying? Mm. General Juma, when he slapped President Taylor Whoa, 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 <laughs> Last time I saw there was a black president on 24. John, 24 is oh, another time. He makes, now he makes sure you're in good hands. Obama, and now they're doing a woman president. I still have the finale of Cheers on VHS I'm going to get to soon, <laughs> so you just need to stop. Ah, yeah. I deserved a rim Let's shot at doing that. VHS. Burn. 
Rules of the internet, anybody have them? I think we do. And let's talk about them right now. <laughs> Creepy. Moses. Hogan, you like that one? Hogan liked that okay. one. Give me the thumbs up. Let's talk about rules of the internet. A couple weeks ago, we talked about rules of the internet. Bill talked about forwarding. I had talked about no more smiley face using punctuation. Hogan got really upset at me because apparently he <laughs> does that a lot. Very uncool, Hogan. Very uncool. Stop doing that, all right? Stop doing that. And then the LOL when something's not funny. Can you stop doing that? I used to uh, instant message with somebody at work, and he'd be like, hey, how's your day, LOL? <laughs> really? Really? Doesn't make any sense. So no more LOLs when something's not funny. My uh, Josh at work, uh, who's on the there, Boom Goes the Dynamite, he says, ha, which I really like, because that's like, ha, I just, ha, ha. So go to the ha. We're going to switch the LOL. We're going to turn it into the ha. H-A, people. Rules of the internet, John, Erica, Michael. Michael, what's your rule of the internet this week? I'm going to steal from John, and I'm going to say, uh, stop that. anonymously commenting on people's work. Ah, uh -huh, good one, good one. Good answer. Anonymous good answer. is French for puss face, is what you said. Mm. <laughs> and... <laughs> I think that that's hilarious and true. I, if you're commenting anonymously on people's things to say negative shit, go fuck yourself. Whoa. <laughs> nice one, Mike. Thank Burn. You. Thank you. I really got everybody with that one. Ram. That was good. That's my good. new rule. Mike, while we, while we talk to Erica and John, uh, let's ask the people at home, what are your new rules for the internet? And we're going to try to actually do something about it here. On the stream.tv, comedy.com is best of the web. Erica, do you have a, do you have a rule of the internet? Um, I don't know if I have a rule. I have. Uh, I don't know if you guys have this where you are uh, somehow on some mass email, and then somebody comments back on the mass email to say something funny, and then someone else says something back, and you're all of a sudden you're just like, now I have three emails about something that really is that important. You kind of want to just hit like type in like unsubscribe, which I feel like is is leaning towards the new like TMI, like unsubscribe, didn't need to know, but why am I on this? And there's like no way to just like kind of, can you remove me off of this? I'm actually not going to drinks with you guys on Friday. So can you, you always look like a dick me? no matter what. If but you there's, no, so there's no, there's no, but I feel like that's like, there needs to be a new etiquette where you can be like, like this, I'm fine that this conversation is going to continue without me or take it off to Gchat, but I don't need it. Like, I already said I can't go, so stop. Right. Uh, let's invent a unsubscribe. word. Unsubscribe. Let's invent unsubscribe. a word. So, just okay. unsubscribe, is it? Now, let's, let's come my, up with something better. It is. I, yeah, okay. So, that was the first pancake. Let's go with the second one. That's a good one, though. Because people are always like, please remove me from this list, and they always look right. like an yeah, asshole. Right, you do. You're like, I'm sorry, I have I have a real job. How sure. about no mas? <laughs> no mas? No mas. No mas? Mm. Like Roberto Duran. Um, That's a reference. No one will get. No say? Like Sheep <laughs> Thrill oh, says, uh, bounce the message. Bounce the message? Bounce the message. Bounce, bounce the message. Yo, bounce the message. Hmm. Not hmm. bad, not bad. Put what, it in what else you got out there? Yo, bounce that message. What else we got out there, dope man? Uh, a lot of people are having, which was going to be my a uh, little bit. Mine's a Facebook complaint, and a lot of people are saying stop with the fifty thousand Facebook requests. And I agree with that because you get weird things. And this is my gripe with the internet was stop sending me uh, like little invites to um, like eighties quizzes. <laughs> and sending me beers and stuff like that because I'm going to ignore, 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 ignore. What, That's the one that drives me crazy. What if Oprah sent you a beer? Would you drink it? <laughs> uh, Oprah better send me a Pontiac. Uh, Did you know that the uproar when she gave away the cars on Oprah, people were pissed because they had to pay taxes. And then they, there was a big so he ended up uh, paying the taxes for them. True story, folks. True story. <laughs> Maybe ended everything. True story. Yes. Hmm. You know, hmm. makes you think, doesn't it? On the Facebook thing, though, I don't know how I somehow, not even just on like the somebody invites you to play the 80s game, I get a lot of things where I'll be like, ooh, there's a new little red flag at the bottom of my Facebook. Oh, no, wait, it's it's somebody played Scrabble. Can I beat their score? <laughs> how did I sign up for that list, and how do I get off of that? Erica, no moss. You no, say no moss. No moss. Or you say bounce that message. Yeah. I don't know that that would apply. At least what if you're it's not, no emos. Ooh, Ooh Dodie! Sort of sounds like it. Finally, a good idea. A good I'll be selling finally. that later. <laughs> no <laughs> EM, blind chicken Dodie. found the corn. I like that. No emos. <laughs> no emos. No, you know what I think we need right now? A couple more uh, clues, because I don't even know what's in Brado's pocket. Yeah, I don't either. All right, I'm going to give another clue, and this is going to be a big one. And I know we're running out of time. Uh, this clue is you need to break it to use it. So it's uh, the color of fruit, um, which is uh, everybody saying <laughs> orange. So I'm just going to say orange. Um, if you're in a dark place, it'll give you relief, and you need to break it to use it. And I think someone's probably going to come really, really quick with that one. So Somebody's um, going to what? And oh, by the way, Alex Trebek, <laughs> Alex Trebek is naked. Sorry, Alex Trebek is naked. 
Alex uh, also, you. rules of the internet. This is from our friend Jackie. If you are friends with a celebrity on Twitter, stop sending replies like you actually know them. Jackie, Love nice one. Oh, yeah, that girl, Jackie. Exo, you get a sticker for that one. That's a sticker. Three stickers. That's a sticker. McDonald's. That was. You're absolutely right. At P Diddy. <laughs> hey Diddy, what's up? Happy oh, come on, though, dude. I'm, I'm, McDonald's. Having a, I'm having a McDonald's. I'm having a stalker IM relationship with Donald Logue. I like to send him notes oh, like I we went him. to college together. I'm like, oh, Donald, loved your work on uh, me, uh, Life Tonight. Good dude, job. Dude, I got to tell you, that's one of my favorite shows is Life. <laughs> me too, dude. That's Seriously? crazy. Are you being serious? I am absolutely crazy. Seriously? And with true. Danny Reese? She's yes. pregnant, you know. That's why they put her in the FBI. That's uh, why they only shoot her from uh, from. Why above. Donald Logue? I don't know. I don't know. It just cracks me up because I remember, uh, like, you know, two years ago on Facebook, I uh, see Donald Logue. Went, there's no way that's the real Donald Logue. And I hit the friend thing, and all of a sudden he's my friend, and I've been his friend on Facebook, and now I send him notes all the time like we're old internet buddies. He's the worst part of I Love the 80s, easily. Really? Yeah. What? He's the guy, uh, I can't really describe him. You know, everybody knows who I'm talking about, right? The Dow yeah. of Steve? Yeah, I was, I was yeah. going to mention yes. that movie. I love that movie. I saw him at the, the griddle or something. Oh, great. I love the griddle. Those yeah, pancakes. I saw him there. He's having oh. giant pancakes. So good, those pancakes. And I, I wanted to tell him he's the worst part of I Love the 80s. Wait, what is I Love the 80s? Like on MTV but... or on... VH1. Why, why is he even on I Love the How 80s? How come I get shit for not knowing the L word, but you don't know I Love the no, 80s? No, no, I know I Love the 80s, but why is Donald Lug on the show, and why do you... You know what I mean? He's, I don't, I've never seen him as, as a real... Because he loves the 80s, Matt. Who doesn't, Mike? Don't Who doesn't? Know, well, he talks way too much about it. Mike, you did some uh, some great '80s recasting. Yes, those, I don't know where you find those. Maybe we'll see. Uh, that's on comedy.com backslash NSFW somewhere. I recast Cheers, Night Court, and Laverne and Shirley. It was with, great. I th yeah, so I think you can check day. those out. I'll, I'll actually post them uh, after here, but they're great. And you can give us your ideas on who you would have play these people. Maybe we should recast something else uh, for this week, and we'll have it for for next week. This is very Who's the exciting. boss? Were we just getting one of these, winding them down? Who's uh, the boss? Well, okay, uh, we have somebody who has a guest, and it's Sheep Thrill. All right. Sheep so I, Thrill? I, I think I know who Sheep Thrill is. Sheep Thrill? Sheep Thrill. Sheep thrill. <laughs> that's awesome. That was the name of our improv group uh, in the 90s, and I think that, so that's my friend Dave who answered it, who I didn't tell who it was. I call bullshit. Yeah. But yeah. anyways, hey, uh, Brido, <coughs> is yes. it a orange glow stick in your pocket? It is. Woo, woo. Yes, it is an orange glow oh stick. Oh my god, the rave has begun. Dance, 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 nice. dance. Crack it. It looks By the like way, a Twix who, bar. Who the hell uses those? We did. For a, we did for a video. Know, we did who, for a video we shot. Who the hell else? Does anybody go out to, to the clubs and they go clubbing with the glow sticks on their X with their lollipops? Well, that was actually my last what clue. Was, uh, I think in 1997. You use it in a rave. <laughs> and you get one of these. Oh, Yay! Yeah, ask me about how gay you are. Hey, oh, we have lots of them. Someone else's car, mostly the paint, not the bumper. Does anybody want right. the glow stick also? A lot of people. Buy oh, the you way, do. A lot of people wants did. It. Chloe. Uh, guess it, and I like to thank everybody else, but Sheep Thrower was the first. And some people said Cherry, which is a good guess. Cherry. Wait, wait a, a second. So well, other people guessed it. A lot of people guessed it too. <laughs> and you went with the guy you know is the winner. That's weird. Bull. That's what I'm saying, oh. Wes. That's kind of weak, dude. That's kind of weak really sauce, weird. Dave. It's like payola. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Plugola. Wait till we give away a car. I'll bring it to the house tonight, Dave. It's payogla. Uh, we everybody, this, this has been a, a blast. We're trying out the new format. I think it's going to work great. It's our third show. We're still we're still figuring out. We appreciate everybody tuning in and watching and giving us suggestions. So continue to do that. Again, you can check it out on the laughtrack.com. The first post there will link to all the other sites. And on the right-hand column, you actually see a link under What's Hot Right Now. That's an RSS feed that pulls the newest and hottest content from around the web in your favorite categories, a la sports and music and whatnot. So check that out. And if you have any suggestions about the show, we'd appreciate it. We're just trying to get our, get our feet underneath us. And the whole point is to give you stuff on the Internet that you didn't know about before. And we're going to do that with some great guests. And I want to thank John Wessling. What's up, homies? Thank you very that was much awesome. for having John, me. John, it's great to see you again, really. I appreciate you coming by and, and being so bitter about being a father. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad to get out hope. of the house. It gives uh, me hope. If That's it's true. okay, this was... can we rerun this? Because I told the wife this was going to go to like 930. I need more. more it's live, John. Time. It's, it's, it's live. live. But that's I thought great. this so was this rehearsal. Is... We were we were showing this. Oh, I'm screwed. We're gonna have to get beer for John for next show because this is like your one time to get out of the house, right? Yeah, so, I, I really wish we could go play some pool or something. It was funny how excited you were when I was like, "Hey, do you want to do the live show?" You're like, "Yeah, yes, absolutely." <laughs> I said yes, and do you want to? <laughs> I was like, "Yes, hide a body. I have a shovel. Let's get the hell out of here." <laughs> Seriously. And Erica Brooks Attickman, <laughs> it's been a pleasure. We really appreciate it. I love your Thank site. You. My parents just joined Facebook. I talk about it all the time. Oh, and we love 
having you here tonight. I love we'll look being forward to having here. you more. Any oh. any shout outs? Any shout outs to your people? Any shout anything outs. you want to tell? Uh, Go old school. Shout I'm outs? just gonna say hi to my my parents and thank them for not being on Facebook. So I'll just say hi to them. Awesome. And, you know what? I'll give a shout out to my sister who just started a really awesome food blog. It's called Delish Your Dish. She's amazing, and it's uh, delishyourdish.tumblr.com. And uh, she's delightful. Creepy. Creepy. Listen, Master Mike Bridenstine, he's been here three weeks in a row. Mike, what do you think? Recap it for us tonight. It was, we won. Everybody won. Back nice. to you. Nice. <laughs> Play the nice. game. Awesome. Thanks again for joining us, seriously. Let us know what you think about the show. Anything we can improve, we appreciate you tuning in. Check us out, comedy.com. Check us out. Love us. We love you. It's all happening, folks. It's all happening. Thanks to Brian Gramo, running the show, EP, stream.tv, Hogan Knows Best, Chloe O'Brien from the CTU, comedy.com. Love you. Miss you. I don't know how to sign off. I'm just going to keep talking until you do it, Brian. Flash a nipple and run. I'm going to get comedy.com.